when they are free and they have a little bit, bit of money, they will drink up that money, mm -hmm. they will get hungry, and then they will come to government and church and everybody, we are hungry, can you please help us? That's yeah. just the reality. Mm -hmm. The second problem that we have now, is from the last uh, 36 hours, is the fact that when we are trying to lock down the commerce region and Orongo, half of commerce and Orongo people move to the north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In congested buses, in whatever places. So as we stand here, there is a good possibility, a chance of up to 60-70% that the virus is up north. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now, that spells disaster <coughs> because the northern part hasn't got that strong capacity in, in terms of health infrastructure to respond. That is a reality. You have more people in the northern part, some of them coming from neighboring environments. You have the largest population of people over the age of 80 years in the northern part of Africa. And as you see what's happening in Italy, it's actually people over this age or in this age category. So if any of our grandmother, they get it and two of them, just to, you know, whatever meeting and they pass it on, then we are going to have disaster. So what we're looking at now, honestly, is to change gear. Mm. Number one, we are looking at the possibility of extending the lockdown. It depends on whether we pick up more cases or not. Mm. 